let's talk about how to get a deeper turn and keep your arm straight. Believe it or not, getting a deeper turn and keeping your arm straight are related. One of the reasons you bend your arm in the back swing is you're trying to get a deeper turn. Now why does your arm bend when you try to in the back swing when you're trying to turn really deep? Well, a lot of people have this image in their mind of professional golfers. I'm going to use John Daly as an example. Someone who gets a really big turn. And not only do they get a big turn, but they get that club way back over the shoulder where it's pointing down. I mean, they're just like all the way down to the ground here. And they're thinking, I've got to get turned like that. I've got to get turned like John Daly. Well, most of us don't have the flexibility to make that kind of move, not in our shoulders, not in our arms or wrist, we just can't do it. So subconsciously what happens is, because they're trying to get this, your club head, you know, back there, when they get up to their max turn that they can do and keep their arms straight, they bend it trying to get that club head back there to that spot, trying to get that shaft level trying to get that head back there. I mean, yeah, I've got the shaft level pointing at the target, but my arm is not. My arm's in a terrible spot. You're better off having it there, keeping your arm straight, than bending it, even if you don't get the shaft back level of the ground. As a rule of thumb, it is not an absolute rule that you have to get your shaft level. Plenty of golfers don't. So we're going to do a series on how to make that turn and keep your arms straight and break that mental image in your mind that you've got to turn and get that shaft level, get that head back there, which is causing you to bend your arm. Mm -hmm. 